Sorry about that, everyone. Um, let me know if you still can't hear me. I think we should be good, though. Um, <laughs> apparently, my uh, I did not have things set up properly, so let me make sure everything's good. Yep, yeah, looks like we're just uh, making sure everyone here is only casters. I don't know why there's so many people. Yeah, why are there so many people here? This is this is far too many. <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah, there's tons of people. Mm. All right. All right so good. I think we're good to go. For... Yeah, I think I think we're finally ready. So looks like this is going to be a best of seven, and it's going to be one diamond, and then our three masters playing. So. uh... Yeah, it should be uh, should be good clan war. Hopefully more competitive than last night. Uh, we got four would last night, so that wasn't uh, wasn't too fun. I didn't that. watch it, but I heard the uh, stats. I read the stats. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't uh, it didn't sound like it was too much fun on our side of things. But uh, no, no. I did get to watch one of the games afterwards in a replay, and yeah, you know, things were said, but I, I I think it was a, a very decent game. There was just a couple of couple of misplays by our player in that game in particular. And it, I mean, I wouldn't say misplays. It was just uh, an over. He overlooked a positioning and, and just got destroyed in a in an engagement and went down the hill from there. So. Mm hmm. I mean, I think the games were fairly competitive. Uh, just uh, unfortunate build order issues and uh, and other things. Yeah, especially it looks like. Yeah, well, TBZ, a funny matchup. <laughs> right, so he's going to play random. Um, hang on, hang on, Luke. Yeah, that's the only rule. Yeah, if you if you <laughs> pick one, you have to stay it. I try to I try to get get that across, and sometimes it. But why? Well, <laughs> you pick a race, you stay the race. <laughs> yeah, it, we do allow randoms, but if you pick random. He, uh, a little bit behind the times here, it seems. Alright, yeah. This tends to happen, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm used to it, so. And I think the I think the UI is bugging out, so uh, wonderful. Anyway, we're finally off. Uh, this is gonna be game one. It's gonna be a TBR <laughs> on Dusk Towers. Uh, best of seven, one diamond, three masters. Uh, it was supposed to be four masters, but one of ours uh, we didn't have enough, unfortunately. And the other clan was uh, very kind and uh, changed the rules, so that's good. Yeah, definitely helpful if we, uh, everyone can actually compete. We don't have our. Uh enough people to play on our end of things we're kind of screwed <laughs> well it's good if, if both teams agree to change a rule that's totally fine actually it's when people change rules and then they change back it's it's it becomes hectic but if everyone's on the same page it works out well, we uh going into the first game is random um obviously anything can happen but uh i know you know luke obviously mains his turn so i mean it uh tbt I'm not. I'm not too familiar with his his uh, competency in TVT. I just know that uh, I've played against him a few times, and he's not too uh, too happy about uh, you know standard standard play. He likes to try and mix things up, and sometimes it really works against him. Well, I know he likes uh, aggressive play. He likes unique and aggressive play. So, um, looks like I'm, my loading thing stopped. I don't know why. Yeah, we're still waiting. Somebody, we got six people, so it's going to take a little bit. All right, go. there we go. All right, do you want to do the introductions, please, Raven? Oh, uh, sure, why not? So, in the bottom left-hand side for ING team, we have our blue Zerg, Luke Rocks. And in the upper right-hand side for XNTG in our very first game, we have... Gagos, the Red Terran. Let's see. Let's see if I can get us our uh, best of seven, correct? So yeah, we have a uh, we have a TVZ. Uh, this should be interesting. I don't believe I've seen a whole heck of a lot of Luke's uh, ZVT, so it'll be interesting to see if he goes very aggressive or if he has uh, the uh, 
confidence to macro uh we'll have to see on this map this map definitely favors macro because it's a fairly large map and you as you can see on the mini map there's an expo in your natural and uh and uh your third is actually very close and apparently i'm quiet yeah we will uh try and figure that out you seem to always be quiet <laughs> yeah always but i'm always loud in team speak i don't get it <laughs> i don't get it Let's turn you up a little bit. Stream, let me know how we go. He's up to five decibels. At this point, he should be screaming in your ears. Yeah, like, I maybe I need to shout into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys! Lug's building a spawning pool! Anyway, so we have a spawning pool. Uh, looks like it was a uh, hatch gas pool. Very standard play from our uh, Zerg player. Uh, very safe opener. And like I was saying before, um, we had to do the... Um, uh, our little sound adjustment. Uh, this map definitely favors macro play because uh, you have the expo in your back, you have the third very close to your main, and you also have a fourth pretty close, so uh, you can get four bases pretty easily, so this map definitely favors some macro oriented play. Yeah, I, I, personally, when I use uh, use anything cheesy on this map, it tends to end badly for me. These ramps, especially for Reaper play as Terran, this ramp, uh, ramp at the front does not do well for uh, any kind of three racks, two racks play, because uh, the defender's advantage takes really big, uh, it works very well for some, for the defender. Mm-hmm. It looks like we have a fairly early evolution chamber. Might be seeing some ling drops from Luke. Definitely. We talked about his, uh, his unique, interesting play, so we'll see where he goes with it. Yep, he's got the speed on the way and the queens, and this isn't all in by any means. This is actually fairly standard in the current meta, uh, but it is going to be scouted. He is going to see the evolution chamber. I think he saw it. Did he see it? Uh, yeah, he saw it, so he's going to know this is coming, and uh, he should be prepared for the drops. Yeah, it looks like he's going to throw down Where's another barracks to, uh, to try and help something out to do with it. Probably you know, massive but uh, he loses too many. Yeah, this is interesting. We're actually seeing two racks play. Um, this leads me to believe he might go for some sort of Hellbat Marine push with Stim. Uh, a very, uh, just some light pressure. Uh, because generally you don't get two racks uh, defensively in this matchup. Especially with this early Stim timing. There's the Starport. We'll have to see what he does. So he doesn't get a reactor for his factory quite yet. And there it is. So yeah, I think this is just going to be some light pressure with uh, Bio and Hellions. I'm going to go ahead and put it on your view while I fix a few things, so you have control of the camera for the moment. Oh, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have the Lings out here, and the Carapace is coming for the Zerg, so he's just not doing anything too crazy. He's sitting on two bases. Luke's actually supply blocked as well, and the Roach Horn came down, so it's going to be some Roach play. And, uh... I'm telling you what, Terran's actually not in a bad spot to defend. So he's got the tech lab already. He's got the stim on the way. He's only got marines, but he's got a fair amount of marines. And uh, he switches his factory with his starport. Very interesting place. So he wants the medevac, so he just wants to go for some quick, uh, some quick marine drops here. Yeah, and I, I found that uh, very recently I've been doing a lot more with my uh, with marine drops because of the just ridiculous amount of, of uh, units that they can uh, they can bring out so anything to, to do some actual decent damage first yeah that is very interesting apparently they say they can't hear you now yeah and I think I know why now so so should I solo cast them nope um you guys let me know if uh, if it's fixed now, I made a couple of changes. I apologize. Okay, well, uh, while this was going on, there was a link drop in the back, and uh, didn't get too much done. Just forced the pull, and uh, many workers went down there. Only only one, so nothing too bad. Just a little bit of lost mining time for Gay Ghost, and yeah, looks like he's he's not putting a lot of pressure on with this build. Very interesting, and there's a lot of roaches coming. This is actually a lot of roaches. It's 14 roaches, and we've got 12 lings on the way. Uh, plus one missiles is on the way. He actually got carapace first. Very interesting choice to get carapace before missiles. So and all of these armies. Out. Yeah, all these armies are going to cross paths. He's going to see Luke's the only one who responds. 
and it's going to pick up. Yeah, I figured Gagos was going to pick up there. And uh, he's going to run back to his main. This is an interesting game. No thirds for either player. Uh, the Liberators are coming. <clears throat> yeah, there's no tanks. You get Liberators. Uh, Stim is done. Comet Shield's halfway done. There's actually not a lot here to defend it. Those Liberators get out. Uh, but I think he'll be able to hold this with a lot of Marines. And as you can see, Luke already getting his third hatchery. It's about half done. And no no third CC for Gay Ghost. Is he just going to like try end the game with this? Okay, there's the CC. That's quite late, though. Oh, so, God. yeah, a bit of a funny opener, I have to say. Well, my concern with Gay Ghost is the fact that because he did get that plus one carapace, you know, roaches are going to take very little damage from those marines. Without anything else to do any damage to him, I mean, he can run right up this ramp, especially if he ends up actually eventually making Ravagers, but so far we don't see any of those. No, he's getting Banelings, actually, and he did scout those Liberators coming out, so he's gonna have Spores in play. He should! He doesn't have any Spores! He's natural! He should have Spores in place at both bases, and this Liberator, the natural, is gonna get some drone kills, and there's actually not a lot of drones on the map. There's only 33 drones for Luke. He's actually taking those, uh, 50 hits from the there. Top dead. Mm -hmm. He's actually Ooh, nice pull by Luke in the main. He doesn't lose too many drones. But this Liberator is in a good spot. Can the Queen hit it? Okay, the Queen is going to be able to hit it. And uh, like I was saying, Luke did not build any drones. He's just been roaching the whole game, and he has no economy behind this. Yeah, at this point, I mean, now that uh, Gay Ghost has the Liberators in the tanks, I, I, I don't think that uh, Luke's actually going to break him anytime soon. Three more barracks going down. Yeah, and it's actually going to try to Baneling bust him. And, uh, Baneling bust with Roaches! The Banelings are ready! <coughs> not already. The Roaches are here, with nothing to come with the Raiders and all the Banelings. The Banelings are getting hit. And he's going to be able to pull back. This isn't on Freak, but, oh my goodness, there's too many Marine Caps, and there's so many Roaches left over. I think, uh, um, he's going to go up the ramp, but he's going to have to end the game here, because he doesn't have much behind the screen. And he has no counter for these Liberators. He just has to go in. He has to go for the work line. He's very smart by Luke. He really, really needs to go into the worker line. And that's what he's doing. He's getting his SCP, but I don't know if it's enough. These Roaches are going down. And there's no economy behind us for this. There's more Roaches coming across the map. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about my voice, guys. It's really dry right now for some reason. And, uh... There's nothing behind this, though. There's only 38 drones on the map. There's 60 SCVs for Gay Ghost. Even though he hasn't landed his third yet, he's perfectly fine. Yeah, he is landing his third. Now, Luke has enough to actually be able to push up this ramp at this point. No, he needs Bane Links. And even with Bane Links, I just think there's too much production for Gay Ghost. I think Luke... I mean, what can Luke do? Luke just... There's, he's almost in a very bad... He's almost up there. Point. And there he goes, engaging his army. There's too much he doesn't even like to land the tank. He goes, he's just gonna parade push across the map. And uh, this looks like it's probably gonna be game one going to uh, Gay Ghost here. Oh, and these overlords misrallied as well are gonna get killed. Just to add salt to the wound. Uh, well, he doesn't have enough units to really get a supply <clears throat> block by it, but. No, that's true, that's true. And the thing is, like I said, a very strange build from both players, but Luke just didn't drone. Luke just went all in with the roaches and veins. And uh, even without Banelink speed, I mean, I don't know, it just seemed like a bit of a long build. I get the feeling that Luke is not super serious with this matchup. Uh, that's just kind of the vibe I get from this, seeing this game anyway. Yeah, TVZ, I mean, playing, uh, since I've been playing a lot of Zerg in my, my off race, um, I... I I've seen very little Terran on the on the ladder, but those that I have seen, you know, it's it's really rough for for Terran to be my main race and not actually be able to do the <laughs> do as well. And it looks like uh, he might he went ahead and tapped out there. Yep. So that's going to make it 1-0 to NTG, and I actually have to figure out what their name is because I have no idea what it is. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think you should finish your point. What you were saying there, Raven. Uh, remind me what I was saying. <laughs> Uh, talking about being a Terran on ladder, and you don't experience a lot of Terrans on ladder. Well, when I off race as Zerg, um, you know, I, I picked up another account recently, and I, I haven't been able to 
or I had been playing it at, at right around the gold and platinum level. I actually hit platinum the other day. And when I do see, um, you know, Terran's on the ladder, being Terran being my main, I, I still haven't quite figured out how to play it on the other side of things, even though I am the worst against Zerg. So it's kind of like, why can't I, why can't I figure out how to play as the race that kicks my ass when I'm playing my main, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm fairly competent with all three races. Um, that being said, as Zerg, I never beat Terran. And yet, as Terran, I do have some trouble against Zerg. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's my worst matchup, but uh, yeah, it's a weird one. Uh, Marines always kill me. Well, they are still telling me that uh, things are really loud. I think what it was is I turned you up so loud and I have the game up so loud that they're I'm just being drowned out. So uh, I'm going to turn things down and see what happens with that while uh, we get our next game set up. Yeah, you figure that out and uh, let me know when you're ready. I had ideal settings and I think I forgot to uh, remind them, or forgot to remind myself, set them up um, the best, <laughs> what the best way was, but see how it goes. I'm, uh, I'm ready to go when everyone else is. Yeah, Luke obviously not very happy with the loss in chat. Very frustrated, but that happens in Clan Wars. It's no big deal. Okay, so yeah, it looks like next map is going to be Frost or uh, Frozen Temple. Oh, you forgot to remind me to, to, me, to turn my music off. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I knew I would forget. I'm just gonna keep talking, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There's been so many technical bugs. It's it's another one won't harm anyone. All right, music's muted. I'm. Well, my, my volume is as loud as it's going to get, so I don't know what else to do about that one. Uh, Jackie's turned down, Game Sound's turned down, everything should be good. Let me know, I'll make adjustments as we go, and hopefully by the end of the, the last game we'll, uh, we'll have it figured out. So Luge is just all sorts of negative tonight. <laughs> the, the spirit of the World War II France is coming over him. <laughs> he's, throwing, he's throwing up the white flag already. <laughs> Surrender or die. We lost the first battle. Let's just let's just end the war now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it looks like uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, set two is going to be a TVP on Frozen Temple, one of our new maps uh, for this season. Uh, my favorite new map actually, and the one I'm statistically best on. So. Um, should be interesting. So now we have our first Masters. It's going to be Say No to Stim, of course, uh, versus Gay Ghost, uh, their diamond player who happened to beat Luke. And Luke with an unorthodox build, of course. Uh, Gay, Goose, uh, Gay Goose, Gay Ghost, <laughs> <laughs> with a bit of a funny build himself, actually, going for the two racks and not putting a lot of pressure with it. So I won him the game, though. Yeah, I wish that would win me games on ladder. If I did that, I'd get smashed. <laughs> Well, I um, I I used to do the two racks. You know, I I had been experimenting with with a, quite a bit of cheese, both in TVT and TVZ. But uh, go ahead and introduce them. Alrighty, on the top left, we have our masters player from Inside Gaming, our dear leader. Say no to Stim. And on the bottom right hand corner, we have the pink Terran taking one kill for noob training ground. It is Gay Ghost working on my camera rotations trying to make it all flippy and everything when you when you introduce them <laughs> yeah yeah for sure so stim uh playing protoss versus terran i do believe pvt is his best matchup and the one he's always been most confident in i think we're gonna see some aggro play from him he loves his two base pressures into macro play so i think we're gonna be seeing some pressure from stim just uh we just have to know uh the nature of the pressure yeah have you, you ever played against him tvp Ah, uh, Stim all the time. Yeah, he uh, he tries to be annoying, and you see it right here. But it, this is where it begins with the worker harass. Yeah, he's actually forcing two SCVs to come off, and Stim is the master of the... Uh, they used to call it the Stork Probe in, uh, in Brood War, because Stork was known for this kind of play. What he'll do is you'll just uh, build your pylon and then go scout with the, with the probe and just be annoying, and Stim's very good at that. He can really throw a lot of players for a loop with it. Just throw timings off and uh, throw the mentality off of the other player. Let's see if we build anything out of our gateway. It looks like he is actually going to take uh, fast nexus. 
Yeah, he just didn't uh, he didn't start collecting gas right away. Um, standard build for Protoss, and then you take that uh, Nexus, and then you get your Cyber and your uh, second pylon after the Cyber. Uh, so pretty standard stuff for Stim. Uh, just got a little bit of work done with that probe. Didn't kill anything. Just harassed the Terran a little bit. We have the Reaper coming out, and uh, standard Reaper expand for the Terran. So we'll have to see what he goes out of it. And I guess we should talk about this map. This is actually the shortest rush distance on the ladder outside of Alrena for maps. And it doesn't look like it when you look at the map, but it is actually a very short rush distance. A lot of good Reaper jump ground and a lot of good blink ground. So uh, we could be seeing some uh, interesting play on it. Definitely. Uh, when I'm playing Terran, I see pr when I play Protoss on this map, I'm always terrified of uh, a blink all in. But uh, seeing uh, Gigos, he's actually going to make, uh, looks like, oh, two racks in the factory. He, I, I don't actually normally see that First kind of play. One. Typically I see a uh, I see three racks or I see a, a one 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 after the expansion and uh, I, I don't know if it maybe it's just to, to get a, a few extra marines for for defense and then to turn that into a heavy drop play. This is actually Korean meta uh, what he's doing. Uh, this is very standard in Korea right now. A lot of Kespa people are doing this. You get the factory, and then uh, you get your uh, racks after that. You actually, I think it's two racks factory. And what you want with the second racks is just to get your tech lab to stim. It's used to prevent adept harass because adept harass can kill you if you're not careful. So this just kind of protects a little more against it, and it just gives you more bio to put a little more uh, early mid game pressure on. So um, this is more Korean. I don't think you see it in NA so much, but uh, you definitely see it in Korean play a lot. He's going to poke at the Stalker. Not going to get too much done, but any damage done on the Marines is, is helpful for a follow-up push. Oh, he's getting more Gateways and a Robo. Did he get his Twilight Council? No Twilight yet, so just more Gateways and a Robo, very interestingly. And there's the Warp Prism, so it's just going to be a Depth Harass, I think. And he's not going to get the Glaives with it. Starport just okay. finishing for Gagos, so we'll see what he, whether he goes to the Liberator or wants well, to move it over to the reactor, so he could potentially just do uh, double double drops, and looks like he is going that way. Yeah, no mind drops, and I thought for sure he might go for at least one round of mind drops, but no, he opts against it, and just goes straight for the uh, marine drops. And what is Stim doing? Stim got the Warp Prism, and now he is getting his Observer. And, uh, interestingly, he got his Twilight a little bit later. I'm actually having a little bit of lag. I don't know if you are as well. Uh, none of my end. Oh, weird. Uh, anyway, uh, he's getting a, He got his Twilight comes out a little later, and he's going for Blink, so... As you called earlier, going to be some Blink play on this map. When he moves out, question is, is Stim going to see it? But it looks like he <laughs> he actually just moved his Adept away, so this this might actually be good for Stim to be able to drop in and, and actually not be seen here. Yeah, there's, there's nothing at home. Uh, Gagos is going to lose his entire uh, mineral line, so we might actually end up in some wonky sort of trade. Uh, Terran's going to have to turn around. I don't think Terran can uh, force a fight with a Mothership core and soon-to-be Blink Stalkers at home defending. See, but he's not turning around, so Stim, Stim's going to be able to do an insane amount of damage this. Yeah, and he's gonna know it's there, he just needs to have that reaction time at home. Is he paying attention at home? He's not, but he's losing the stalker there. And these marines actually get on top of the pylon. He's still gonna overcharge him anyway. I don't know how smart that was, because they're just gonna end up dying. But, uh, he's gonna take up his tech lab. The thing is, Stim is losing a lot, and he doesn't have a whole heck of a lot at home. But I think Stim will be able to stabilize. I mean, how many workers did he kill, though? He didn't actually kill a lot, and he's actually losing his nexus. The thing is, Stim wasn't paying attention, didn't overcharge quick enough, so he's going to lose that Nexus, and this is actually going to force Stim into a bit of an all-in situation, I think. Yeah, he just got supply blocked, he just broke even, he's coming out of that, but, uh, I, I don't know what he's going to be able to actually have against the amount of bio that could potentially come out here, but the good thing is he's, he's only on, only on two racks, and he, he doesn't, uh, let's see, we're looking at the income. Well, he's still got about 1,500 minerals income, so he could put out quite a bit of, uh, of bio if he could actually get the production up. And there's also a DT shrine I didn't even notice on the production tab. There's going to be DTs on the map. Now, how many scans does he have? Actually, not many. He's used quite a bit of his energy for mules. So these DTs might be able to get a bit of work done. It looks like he's going to drop the DT into the main. This is very smart from Simon. No turrets. 
There are no turrets for Gay Goose. The thing is for Stim, though, this... I mean, oh, he's not even pushing. He's just going to retake his natural. Really? Oh, I don't know if he'll be able to catch up here. The Terran's getting his third CC. Well, the, the, the adage I've heard is, is when ahead, use DTs. When behind, use DTs. You know, so basically... Yeah, <laughs> when behind Dark Shrine. One of the oldest things in StarCraft. That's been around since Brood War. He's going to spot this bio push. And if he can actually annihilate this bio... Again, he's hitting a very good timing stim. He's going to be able to drop DTs in the main with nothing here. He's going to drop one. Is he gonna, how many is he going to warp in? Now he's warped that in. He doesn't have quite as much at home. He doesn't have... Really anything. Uh, only handful oh, of but he's gonna flank. He's gonna flank this bio army. Is he? I don't know. Where is he going? Oh, uh, he split his army. Uh, yeah. That's very interesting. I get Stim just wants to go for the base trade. Yeah, but you can't. You can't win a base trade against Terran, especially this early in the game. You know, he doesn't have what is going to be necessary to actually kill his buildings. Oh, he's got a DT at home. He has a DT at home. And I don't know if there's enough. There's one scan. He does get the DT, but Stim is going to warp in more DTs. He does have another DT at home. I think he's just going to try to kill these CCs. Yeah, if he can actually and get then, that one, that's the one with all the energy. Yeah, if he gets that, there's not any energy left. But he's not targeting it down. He is actually not targeting. He's losing his entire army here. I think Stim's definitely misplayed this. And uh, he did lose pretty huge, pretty ballsy move to actually attempt the uh, base here to Terran. GG. Wonky play from Stim, I have to say. Bit of a bit of funny decision making. Yeah, I I don't. Uh, I, I, that's not his normal play. He's normally much more aggressive than that. So I I don't know if he was uh, just wasn't feeling that game or or what really. Yeah, I don't know. It's um, uh, it's an interesting one. Missed, yeah, he missed his overcharge is exactly what the problem was there. So now I have to find our next player. So give me a second. I gotta find him, because Blitz said he can't play. Well, he doesn't want to play, but we kind of need him. Yeah, it would be helpful to have all of our masters available. Now, I know that um, Coffee was on earlier. I don't, uh, I don't know if he's actually going to be available. Uh, I don't have him on the awesome. list. He might be on Korea. Someone get on a plane, go find him. Yeah, somebody order the tickets. <laughs> well, I might have to play Tree Fiddy next. I was hoping to play Tree last, but... I say we force Blitz to play. <laughs> Well, 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 we'll just have to go with this. Tree Fitty. I'm just going to check if repicks are allowed. Ladder maps. Well, it doesn't say repicks aren't allowed, so I'm going to assume repicks are allowed. I'm going to ask them. See, I tend to assume not, unless you run all, all seven. Like, my uh, one I set up for next week is a best of nine, so you're not going to have any choice. Yeah. Okay, so no repicks. Okay. Okay, so I'm actually going to make sure... We keep track of the maps here. I need a piece of something. I, I got it. I got notes. Oh, I'll get a piece of paper to you. Uh, first one was on Dusk, and then Frozen. Just gonna go down the list. Come on, stream. Oh, okay. Me if my sound's any better. Coffee. Coffee's come on. Wonderful. Oh, coffee's coffee's a pretty good player. Um, oh yeah, he's like <laughs> top. He's top uh, masters Korea. I don't know why he's not GM and a. Oop, no one's supposed to say that. <laughs> 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 Saying uh, classified info on the stream. Uh, masters, masters. Doesn't matter which where it's at. No, nah, yeah, exactly. NA and Korean <laughs> masters exactly the same. No difference. <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> Kappa HD. I should start saying dank memes. Everyone's talking about dank memes. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of like, have you heard the, uh, have you heard the one about the, the it, it's Wednesday, my dudes? No. Oh, God. All right. I, I got to link it. I, I have all to right, it. all right. I, I'm well, sure... link it to me, link it to me after the clan war, or, like, just hold on to it and link it to me after the clan war, and then I can look at it. 
Uh, Alright, it looks like he wants to do prawn terraces. No, I'm going to put it in chat. I'm, I'm sure that probably every chat... Is well, okay, it. send it to me in chat, <laughs> and then I'll just look at it after the event. I'll look at it. Oh, no, no, I put it in, 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 the, in the stream chat. Oh, okay, I'm not even on the stream, so... <laughs> so everyone can see it. Share it all with everybody. <clears throat> okay, Man, I might have to take a halt after this game. My left side of my throat is just dry as everything. Just the left side? Just the left side. Okay, that's interesting. It's actually in the back of my... I know this sounds more sexual than it should, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's my tonsil feels weird in the back of my mouth. Nice. I know, Jekku. Sticking things in there shouldn't be, I know. Sorry, guys. Can't help it. Hey, sound supposedly is better now, so life is good. Hype. So hype, I just need to some settings. Also, I think I... I think I had my mic a little bit too low and didn't realize it. I'm looking at my webcam, realizing that it was, like, in my beard, so... I'm gonna have to check out the VOD so I can see your sexy face when, uh, okay. when it's all over. I'm wearing a hat. I'm hiding it. Don't look. <laughs> I actually, I made a Terran shirt. That's what you need to see. I don't know. I, I wore it last time. I, uh, I made a, a, a Terran icon uh, t-shirt. Specifically for the clan, and I'm actually gonna make a uh, INGT cow hat. To wear. Dude, can I like order one off of you? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I've I've wanted to get an INGT like shirt or hat. I don't know, or I even know, like, even if you make like a coat or something, I'm, I'm I just want something. I want some I want some gear. You know what you need to get is a webcam. I have a webcam. I just don't want to. I have four webcams actually. Well, get on stream. No, I don't want to put my Skype stream. call. Nah. I know, I know. I'll put one of my friends. I'll sit their ass next to me, and they can be my. Uh, uh, they can be. Uh, okay, Night Cole just left. I don't know why. Uh, he's been doing. I, he's I been he's like, yeah, he, I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, he can stay. I don't care. Like, I don't think he's cheating. Obviously. I do. Of course he did. <laughs> uh, Ghost is not playing super. Well, I'm not. No disrespect. He's playing well, but I mean, he doesn't play. He's not playing suspicious at all. Oh, of course not. <laughs> I tend to assume there's... that people are playing legitimately, unless there's pretty damn good reason to assume not. Well, there's certain clans that have reputations for cheating. There are certain clans if we play them, I will actually pay attention because there are some clans that do cheat out there. I'm not gonna say any names, but don't play them. <laughs> we don't simple. play them. We don't play. We used to play them, but we don't anymore. Now, Wait, when did you join the clan? When did you join the clan? I think it was about a year ago, but I didn't actually start getting active until about six months ago. Okay, so this was before your time there was clans. Anyway, uh, it's yours. Take it away, Riven. <laughs> All right, so here we have game three. The uh, op other clan and what is it? XNTG. That is so hard to say. They... It's just NTG. <laughs> Noobs to go. Or um, noob training ground. <laughs> they are up two to zero. And uh, in the bottom right-hand side are Blue Zerg and uh, our, our, our hope to uh, tie this thing up here real soon, or at least get us a game, is Tree Fitty. And in the upper left-hand side we have, once again, our Pink Terran, Gay Ghost. Now, this map, I, I have explicitly blocked or uh, vetoed this map because of the gold expansion um, I, I don't I don't I'm not confident enough, enough in my own builds um, to actually be able to keep up with the macro the the additional mineral income that you get from that, that gold expansion and uh, I, I don't scout well enough I don't think to to realize what kind of uh, strange play comes from my opponent when they take Whoa. the expansion I think I let, did I lag up for a second? Uh, a little bit. Oh. Oh shit, am I lagging? Not now. Yeah, I think I am now. Now you are. I might have to drop from the game. Why am I lagging? I never lag. Fix your shit, bruh. Yeah. I don't know why I'm lagging. I think it's the mod. Some of the mods make me lag. But when I'm when I'm normal, like playing with you guys, I never lag. Yeah, I, that's why I like Game Heart. So I'm going to uh, well, I'm going to try and specifically ask if they put Game Heart on. But... Yeah, I just ask after game. Anyway, it seems to have fixed itself. 
So from uh, uh, Gate Ghost, we have a Reaper expand. Let's see if he goes for that uh, double uh, double racks again. Yep, so uh, as per usual, uh, looks like Tree Fitty is going to take his drones from his main and transfer them to the natural. Um, that's very standard, and it is economically very efficient to do that. And what do we have? Just speed from Tree. Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary from Gay Ghost yet. Looks like he's going for his two racks. Oh, three racks this time. So it just said there's nothing out of the ordinary, then actually looked and he killed three racks. This is very interesting. Yeah, and he did expand, so I, I would, I would imagine we we're gonna see. So you can throw down to fourth racks. Oh my. He is looking for some. Uh, oh, you know what? And this is what I was just talking about. That extra expansion, that gold expansion, we definitely get. Uh, we get uh, a lot more mineral income. Um, yeah, so it looks like he's just gonna go for like a massive marine all in. I don't. Simply because uh, looks like the reaper got the first kill there. And, uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, like you were saying, sorry, uh, because the Zerg gets the extra mineral income, you can just flood lanes. I don't know how well this is going to work out, to be honest. And it looks like he's double tech labbing. Very interesting. What are you doing? What are you doing, so sneaky ghost? This is very interesting. I, have, I don't believe I've seen this. I don't know. Have you seen this, Raven? Um, not... Like this, uh, typically you're gonna see double double proxy uh, marauder. But uh, when he's running five in his in his base like this, I know I have played a, a five racks where I just go all in with a huge bio ball. But uh, it really just kind of depends on what kind of mainling hits. Because if he if he scouts this, which he's about to with that overlord, um, he scouts this. All he does at home is immediately gets a mainling nest, which looks like actually he's got a roach worm going. Yeah, it looks like now he's getting the Baneling Nest now. Baneling Nest is on the way. If he can get the Baneling Nest up, I think he'll be okay. With this gold, and he's getting the second gold expansion, I do think uh, Treefeet will be fine. He doesn't cancel his Roach Horn, so clearly he thinks he can uh, he can hold on with just Roaches and Banelings. Or he doesn't He doesn't feel he needs to cancel the Horn to hold. I And he, he's probably correct there. Roaches are going to help for the until the Banelings come in. Because uh, Zerglings are just going to get shredded until they actually, you actually have the mainlings to uh, back it up. But uh, we got you know, about a dozen Marines moving across the map now. Uh, is he going to actually have anything up? We have nothing really in production, just eight more lings right now. He's going for the third. Even if uh, Tree Fitty loses this third, I think he'll be fine if he gets Banelings out. And he sees the Marines there, and he's going to start morphing. He's morphing the Banes right at the front, though. That's risky. If these Marines run up here, they might be able to snipe quite a few of them. But there are... Yeah, there's tons of links coming, though. There's so many links, and these Banelings pop, and he's not spreading very well. It's on Tree... Why is he detonating the Banelings? What in the world was Tree Fitty doing there? Oh, man, he's just looking for the... He's not even wasting the Banelings. That is how confident Tree Fitty is to hold this. Yeah, I mean, when you got that, those few Marines are all damaged, the Speedlings are going to be able to hold it, but the, the follow-up is where you really have to worry, but it looks like Gagos is actually uh, finally transitioning here. He's got a reactive factory, so I, I would assume that he's going to get the, the Hellions, or he's going to move that over to the Starport and uh, maybe go back to his drop play. It's kind of hard to say at this point. Uh, yeah, he, he's just going to play Mass Marine. He's playing like Bomber, of all people, uh, right now. and looks like he's going to swap the Starport and the Factory. He's going to need Mines, though, because this is Ling Bane Muda. You need Mines. Without Splash, you will die. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing for the longest time just with uh, Bio Tank and TBC. Yeah, so that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, that don't work for Sling Bane, I can tell you right now. But, um... But Gagos is actually getting a lot of work done at the third here. He might be able to snipe, but this would be a huge snipe, but the Banes are coming in. The Banes... Oh, there's so oh. many! And this is, oh my god! Wow. 15 hit points. Wow. Now the question Incredible. is, does he, a, does he get a queen up there in time to actually transfuse it, keep it alive for the follow-up? Because follow-up push, you know, two Marines are gonna gonna wreck that hatchery. The thing is, though, Tree Fitty is at a bit of a worker deficit right now. However, he does have the gold, so I think with income, he's actually lagging behind, but that is with mules as well. I think he'll be okay, but now he's droning up a little bit, and his uh, bailing speed is almost done. Why am I... No, I don't want that. <laughs> Luke, right in clan chat. 
Looks like Luke's still irate about that, uh, <laughs> about that loss of his. And, um... Yeah, we'll hear about that for at least a couple weeks. Oh, yeah, he'll forget about it. Dude, he'll, he forgets about these things after, like, a day. And then he rants about something else. He'll be okay. Right, Love so... you, Luke. <laughs> um, anyway, the plus one one is coming for both players. More Marines on the way. There is no splash damage coming down here. That's a lot of Marines coming across. Looks like he wants to go for that really, really weakened hatchery. There are four Queens, though. And a lot of Banelings. The thing is, Game Force has a huge supply lead right now. Uh, there's just so many Marines. Oh, look at the speed. The speed Banelings. He's trying to split. I don't know why Tree is not exploding his Banelings. That is... I wonder if he's experiencing lag or something. Because that is very strange that he's not. Still holding off, but I mean... I, it's just weird that he's not blowing up his Banelings at all. Uh, it's quite a bit of micro to, to actually manually... Uh, pop and ban them to actually get decent hits. But much easier just to, to roll them in on them. But he also, I mean, he's got a significant amount of speed right now to be able to, to get a decent surround. Oh, that's a lot of queens there. I actually first. like the Terran's position. Gagos is playing this fairly well, and he's finally getting mines, and this 1-1's one, about to finish. What a strange build on this map, but it seems to be so far actually doing okay for him. Yeah, with the third up now, he's, he's got the third up now. It's actually on that topic. It looks like he's about to uh, take down this third hatcher. Yeah, has seven, well, five needleless now. Uh, looks like he actually wants to to try and get some harassment done because he, he knows that if he continues to let Gagos just mac mac grow up at this point, he, he's going to get rolled over. You know, he is sending supply. some. He is sending some lings over to this third of Gay Ghost, but there are Marines here to defend it right away. Good reaction time. Yeah, three SCDs for uh, you know, a couple dozen, a couple dozen lings there. Now, you know what? Does... No creep spread. Sorry, I cut you off there. No creep spread from Tree Fitty. He really needs to work on that creep spread. It looks like Gay Ghost is uh, either. Looking for the army or afraid of uh, failing landmines? Not sure which. That's actually a really smart scan. That is a very valid, uh, that is something that Tree Pity could do to get back in the game here. He's supply block. Tree Pity's got a massive supply block. Oh, and he's bunching up his whole army. He has to be really careful with this. Oh, the mines. The mines don't take up too much, but I mean, this is a huge army from Gago. It's just all these marines. Oh, but he gets a nice surround, but he's again not... What is he doing with his micro? I don't understand. There's something off with Trifiti's micro. I'm gonna guess he was lagging a lot or something. Yeah, I'm, uh, all of our players, for some reason today, not not the caliber of play I, I typically see out of out of our guys. Apparently, a Trifiti said something happened to his keyboard. Oh, we can always ask for for a replay. <laughs> Doubt that ever actually uh, goes. Yeah, away. well, what he should have done is PP'd. I don't know why he didn't. Yeah, moving forward, definitely. Uh... Let people know. Um, if they're going to have an issue, let them actually pause the game. Well. I understand Tree's position, but we can't, like... I don't know what happened. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell something was wrong. That was weird, yeah, I agree. Unfortunately, it's kind of late now, so... Looks like we're going to have to get our uh, our uh, superstar in here and hopefully reverse all kill, which is possible. I can, coffee can get... If anyone can get three kill, four kills in a row. Yeah. Two days in a row, it's going to be a little bit... Uh, also not available. I'm just trying to tell... It's hard to communicate with coffee, not... English not his... Not his first language. I was trying to explain those two and Pra. He's picking the maps that are unavailable. Those two and Pra, and you cannot pick. <laughs> oh, 
Let's um, see what it, coffee, if I remember correctly, is Zerg, right? Yes, he is. Well, we've had what three, two, two TVZs already. So I mean, he's, he's got the uh, got the matchup pretty practiced now. Let's uh, let's see what uh, what coffee can pull out. I, I do I do remember seeing um, coffee versus in our last clan more. He did uh, did some pretty fantastic play. Oh, he always does really well in Clan Wars. I think, anyway. Okay, Mike, what's your map pick, man? That's a pretty short one. I don't think I've ever had a war go this, this quickly. The maps that are unavailable. Those two in Prawn you cannot pick. Let's um, see what it. Coffee, if I remember correctly, is Zerg, right? Yes, he is. Well, we've had what three, two, two TVZs already. So I mean, he's, he's got the uh, got the matchup pretty practiced now. Let's uh, let's see what uh, what Coffee can pull out. I, I do I do remember seeing um, Coffee versus in our last clan more. He did uh, did some pretty fantastic play. Oh, he always does really well in Clan Wars. I think, anyway. Okay, Mike, what's your map pick, man? This is a pretty short one. I don't think I've ever had a war go this, this quickly. Assuming that uh, we get 4 out. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is going to be one of the shorter ones. We had a brief one last day. This is going to be even quicker. This is like literally an hour. Wow. Coffee needs to um, what, may, what remains? Invader. Uh, he He's got it. I don't know. Impromptu clan war after, or clan tournament after this. <laughs> Apparently, go, go, go. y'all need practice. <laughs> Coach Raven says you all need practice. We definitely need some coaching. I'll say that. Um, all around, we need we need some actual practice time. Well, that's all for organization that we'll have to talk about after. <laughs> I'm not going to start airing it on stream. Same reason I don't post updates on things on Facebook. I never. You know, those people always complain about things on Facebook. I can't stand those people. I'm not one of those people. I'll only say something if I legitimately feel it needs to be said. Uh, yep, and Dion is available. My least favorite map in the pool, I believe, other than that eight-player atrocity. Oh, wait, so we can play maps again? What do you mean we can play maps? Oh, well, that's Saluge. I think he's just bullshitting. <laughs> yeah, probably. Saluge, are, are you drunk yet? I guess with yeah, best of seven, There's we use all the maps, so no, there's not going to be any repicks. So, oh, I just thought I have some vanilla Coke and some uh, Jack Daniels. I can make a pretty interesting Jack and Coke right now. You know, I've never had one of those. Believe it or not, <laughs> Jack and Coke? Are you kidding me? Nope. Um, At least not in my recollection. That's like my favorite drink. No, not Jack Daniels. I've had some fancy stuff with Coke, but not Jack Daniels. No. You're talking about not no JD and Coke. Coke drink, right? Yes, Coke the drink, not the not the white <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't know with this clan, man. It, it's hard to tell. Hey, man, I'm straight as an arrow, bro. Outside of alcohol. I, I don't think <laughs> I don't think I've I've gone a day in this clan without hearing somebody talk about weed. Or being drunk. Oh, Jonah, we're just like we're a bunch of misfits, man. Like, it's literally like a pirate ship in this clan, and I love it. <laughs> hey, here I am. I don't do a goddamn thing. When's the next game schedule to start? Um, immediately. Except for Kali, he needs some. Coffee needs some one minutes. Yeah. So. Perfect. Uh, perfect English there. <laughs> we need to give not him, giving him, not giving away his Korean right there <laughs> at all. <laughs> we need to give Coffee many one minutes, guys. We need to give him many one coffees as well. <laughs> Irish coffees. Irish car bombs, man. Yeah, I'm sure you've had an Irish car bomb. No. I don't you never had an Irish car bomb. 
Bro, wow. the, only, the only time I really drank was when me and my ex broke up. <laughs> Strip yeah, rum and co or um, uh, Irish car bomb's good. If you ever at a pub anywhere, especially a European pub, you should uh, get a rum and or ugh, why do I keep saying rum and co? Get an Irish car bomb, and uh, the waitress should tell you how to drink it properly because there's a proper way you're supposed to drink it. Who um who didn't ready up? Because I can't. You can only see up to four. I have no idea. Oh, tree fitty! Why Man, is he still tree. at the party? <laughs> Why are you here? Purge. GG well played, but you got to go. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Is that how they say it? I think so. Oh man, we got a clan war tomorrow. And Tuesday. Oh, and Thursday. Oh, we're playing Cloud M. That should be interesting. We've had issues with them in the past. Lovely. Yeah, well, I'll be fun. I didn't say as long as I get to admin, I really want to admin because I got, I got, I got some things to say to their leader. So. Jesus Christ, we have two more after that too, and he set up another confed war. Oh no, that wait. We haven't played confed, have we? Yeah, we have, and I have one set up for Tuesday, and he set one up again for. S Saturday. Oh, Lee. <laughs> We're like a baseball team. We're playing so many games. Jesus, dude. <laughs> hey, man. Nobody can complain. We don't have Clan Wars now. Someone tell Rob to cool his shit. <laughs> yeah, actually, I take blame because I told him to set up a bunch of Clan Wars. I didn't think he'd do this many, but he did take it on my account. So See, you got to talk to me. I don't know any other clans. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'm okay with Clan Wars, but... Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm okay with it, as long as we can like get people to show up and they're not all like masters only, and we have to like keep changing them. We're good. So anyway, I guess we should talk about the map. This is gonna be another TVZ. Hopefully, Coffee has learned from Gay Ghosts Play. Now this map is interesting because it's a two-player spawn. It's almost like a uh, vertical Alrena, except bigger and not not an easy rush distance. Well, it's actually it's a deceptively short rush distance. Honestly, I mean. When it comes to, at least in Legacy of the Void, obviously this is a legacy map, but the the um, the time to get to your opponent's natural is relatively short. So you, you, while you're not going to do anything against someone that's one basing, uh, you, you can harass the hell out of their their natural. You know, send send uh, four to six lings across uh, across the map to to harass. But uh, go ahead and introduce our players here, Jackie. Alrighty, we have on the bottom left hand position. We have for Insight Gaming. On our last life, our last hope, it is Coffee Holic. And on the bottom right, we have playing very well, taking three wins in a row for noobs to go. It is the Pink Terran Gay Ghost. So, can he close out the all kill? This is what we're going to have to see. Gay Ghost playing very interesting because he's busting out different builds every game. So, he's very tough to read as a player. All I know is he definitely, like, he doesn't like his early third, so he definitely doesn't seem like a macro-oriented player. And that's not a slight in any way, I'm just saying that in his <laughs> playstyle. I know some people take that as an insult. <laughs> eh, just depends on your playstyle. I mean, I, I've learned that against Zerg in particular, uh, ag a, a uh, aggro play is definitely going to be better. Now, Coffee went for Gas Pool and is not expanding, so... I'm well, not expanding yet. Let's see where he goes from there. It goes. So I was wondering if maybe he was going to do some one base, but uh, you know, like you said, the, the rush distance uh, from starting location to starting location isn't great. However, the drop distance is rather short. So uh, I'm I'm gonna think that maybe Gate Ghost might actually do some more uh, drop harass this game. Maybe he might. He hasn't really been drop pressing too much. In game three, he did a a little bit. Um, he's mainly just been hitting with marine timing pushes and just wrecking everybody. <laughs> and, oh, it's going to be the roach play from Coffee. Uh, he's kind of known for his roach play, to be honest. He likes his aggressive roaches, and, uh, frankly, he does it pretty well. Three rounds I mean, I beat my ass in one tournament <laughs> with it. Yeah, his, I, I've seen him do uh, some pretty ridiculous things with Roach Ravager. Um, I, I don't handle Roach Ravager well, so I, I, I can't imagine that... Uh, um, well, not compare me to him, but um, I know Terrans in general for the early Roach Ravager push have have a rough time um, 
just because it's so easy to get out a pretty pretty decent number of, of roaches and ravagers, and that just wrecks any static defense. The bunkers go down, the tanks go down, to the ravager shots. Interestingly, he's not actually checked the main up until now, and I don't know if he's seen the ravagers. First he hasn't seen the roach horn, he did not see the roach horn at all, and he's retreating with it, so he's not going to know the roaches are coming. Uh, he's going his two racks factory again, he's taking a second gas, so uh, I, I would imagine that... Uh, well, like oh, said, he's going to see it. He sees the Ravagers now. Yeah, he sees the Ravagers morphing. And uh, what's his response going to be? It's just to... He's getting a bunker up on the low ground. Now, that is very ballsy. I don't know if he can hold that low ground. Especially, did he lose the Reaper? I think he lost the Reaper. He definitely lost the Reaper. So there's only a couple Marines here. The Overlord is going to be in position to scout for these Ravagers. And this isn't all in by any means. He's just droning behind this. This is just to put on pressure. And macro, <coughs> excuse me, behind him. He's getting his lair. Ooh, we're going to see... Are we going to see some Mutas? I don't think so. He's not getting his... Oh, he is getting additional gases. He might be going into Muta play out of this. Well, he is take... Yeah, he's definitely going to be a two-base play here. Yeah, it's going to be something... Kind of watching the, the the ravagers stare at the bunker here. <laughs> so you're still coming up now. Jagos is doing his, his uh, double his reactor in the starport. I would imagine that we would see liberators come up. No, he's gonna drop again. No, oh, he looks like he's gonna go for drops, and uh, looks like Coffee's just keeping the pressure on with these uh with these ravagers, and it is gonna be Muta, so two base Muta from Zerg. Uh, this is risky because this comes with very mixed results, from what I've seen. It it really does. However, it it's the perfect I I, I want to say counter to what Gigos is doing because Mutas in a high number this early are gonna shut down every bit of dropping that he's gonna do. So if he manages to take down a, a you know medevac full of Marines, you know that puts him significantly far behind. Yes, but his drops are already ready, and there isn't a mute on the map. The Spire's only half done, and there isn't a whole heck of a lot on the map. Now, I don't know if the Overlords are going to see this. I don't think they are. No, it's going to be almost to his base by the time this Overlord sees it here. So he's going to have to get some lings out very quickly. Now, this isn't too full medevacs, but uh, he's going to have to start producing lings very quickly, and I don't know if he's going to have enough. There are roaches and ravagers here. He might have to pull some drones. Oh, and wow. he just GG's. Straight up GG's out. No fight from Coffee Holic, so that's going to be an all kill for NTG. I, uh. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I don't know why. Why he wouldn't even, uh. Wouldn't even bother to. To even try and defend that. Well, I don't know why you'd go that build and not do anything when this guy has clearly, clearly done marine timings, but. Anyway, so that's going to be it. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> I, uh, I expected to be here for at least another hour. Um, yeah, that was, that <laughs> was quite the thrashing. Well, I, uh, yeah, so we'll have to I gotta some... apologize for, sorry for not better games. We will, uh, I, I definitely think that, uh, moving forward in the future, uh, we, we do need to have lower league, um, some lower league in, in, into a higher league because, you know, the lower ge lower leagues, you're going to have more trade-offs of games. Um, if you start out with, with high-level players to begin with, there's a pretty good chance to to have an all-kill like this. And, no, uh, but we lost, our masters lost to a diamond. That should be happening. Eh, gotta gotta wonder sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I looked at his profile, he seems fairly legit, I don't know. I'll have to see what the, uh, his APM is really high, I will say that, so, uh, I don't know. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> GG. Uh, I'm gonna leave the party, and yeah, that was one of our shortest series of all time. That one. That's gotta be, like, a record right there. Well, thinking about, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be here for, for Tuesday, um, our war against Confed. Uh, tomorrow, um, don't know if I'm gonna gonna be here to to cast, but I definitely would like to be involved. It is uh, looks like uh, one gold, one platinum, one diamond, one master. So I, I think we should see a lot, a uh, lot more games out of that. Um, be a lot more fun. 
Um, yeah. But uh, let's go. Uh, let's go chat with our team here, and uh, next get, next yeah. time. I'll uh, I'll probably be back on the night with the stream guys, and uh, oh well, thank you for streaming Raven, and thank you for hosting me. Uh, yeah, and thanks for everyone watching. Yeah, we'll we'll have to try again sometime, you and I. <laughs> but thank you for being here. Ah, well, it was okay. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't longer and some technical difficulties, but hey, so it goes sometimes. Save some settings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for having us, and uh, yeah, I guess you can say last word, Raven. Yep. Good night, everybody. <laughs>